Weather fronts are fascinating and dynamic phenomena that play a crucial role in shaping our day-to-day -day weather. These boundaries where air masses of different temperatures and characteristics meet can bring about dramatic shifts in weather conditions from soaring temperatures and clear sky to thunderstorms, rain, or even snow. Join us on this meteorological journey to better understanding the role of basic weather fronts in ever-shifting tapestry of our climate. Let's begin with a cold front. On weather maps, it's a solid blue line with the triangular spike pointing in the direction of the front's movement. When a cold front is associated with a low pressure system, it typically represents a more dynamic potential, more severe weather situation. And in this scenario, the cold front is advancing into an area of warmer, less dense air, causing the warm air to rise and cool rapidly leading to the formation of a cloud's precipitation and potentially thunderstorm. It's a weather boundary formed when cold air masses push warm air masses away. It's shown in the weather maps as a solid line with blue triangles pointing where it's moving. When a cold front comes, warm air rises because it is less dense than a cold air cools and makes clouds and rains. This brings a sudden temperature drop, change in weather like storm or rain, clouds formation and pressure change. A warm front on a weather map is a solid red line with semicircle pointing in the direction of the front's movement. It forms when a warm moist air moves into an area occupied by cooler air. The warm air rises over the cooler air because it is less dense than a cold air, creating clouds and often leading to light to moderate rainfall. As the warm front passes, it brings mild or milder temperatures and can change wind direction. Once it's gone, the weather is usually become more stable with clearing skies and rising temperature. A stationary front on a weather map consists of alternating blue triangle pointing in the direction of the colder air mass and the red semicircle pointing in the direction of the warmer air mass along the same line. It forms when two different air masses meet and neither is strong enough to displace the other. They can result in diverse weather condition, including for long precipitation due to the contrast in the air mass properties. There typically a noticeable temperature difference across the front, contributing to cloud and precipitation formation. Weather near the stationary front can change frequently leading to a mix of phenomena like rain, thunderstorm, fog, or snow. While front itself doesn't move much, the frontal zone location can oscillate slightly, causing weather fluctuation over time. Front can persist for extended periods, making them challenging to predict compared to warm and cold front.
Next is an occluded front. Occluded front form when a cold air mass pushes into a warm air mass that is behind a cool air mass. The warm air mass is pushed up above the cooler air masses because it is less dense than the cold air. The resulting occluded front may produce long periods of precipitation. Faster moving cold front overtakes a slower moving warm front or catches up to a stationary front. It evolves three air masses, cold, cool, and warm. Occluded fronts are symbolized on a weather map with the alternating purple semicircle Key features include the cold air mass wedging between warm air near the surface and cool air aloft, leading to mixed precipitation type. Temperature vary and the interaction of air masses can create weather instability, potentially causing thunderstorm and heavy precipitation. Now, there are two types of occluded front. We have cold occlusion. In this type of occlusion, the cold front is colder than the air behind the warm front. And the second one is the warm occlusion. Here, the cold front is not as cold as the air behind the warm front. In cold occlusion, as the cold front advances, it lifts the warm air causing it to be sandwiched between the cold air behind the cold front and the cool air aloft. Cold occlusion are typically associated with the colder temperature and can result in a mix of precipitation types. While in warm occlusion, as the cold front catches up the slow moving warm front, the warm air is lifting or lifted, creating an occluded front. Let's go to low pressure trough. It is a dashed line, often called simply a trough. This is an elongated area with a lower atmospheric pressure than its surrounding. This trough can extend horizontally across the Earth's surface, taking on various shapes and are, li are linked to specific weather patterns. They bring unsettled weather including cloud formation, precipitation, and sometimes thunderstorm. The next is a monsoon trough, often called the monsoon is an area of low pressure known for heavy rain and thunderstorm. It's a significant component of an Asian monsoon and similar system worldwide. This drop forms due to a seasonal wind shift bringing together moisture laden air masses. Now there you have it, the basic weather fronts. Hope you understand something. Thank you very much for watching.